my name is Alex, and if you aren't new to the channel, then this is a very odd video being made. The thing is, I've been wanting to make these videos for a while now, but I've never had the time, nor the energy. <laughs> but don't worry, I will still be uploading my regular content and on schedule. But, well, hopefully anyways. But every now and then, I'll just upload a video like this. My goal is to teach people the best I can about anything that I feel people aren't knowledgeable enough about. Anyways, as you could probably tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about the term transgender. Also, stay tuned to see how you can support the Black Lives Matter movement. First off, in order to continue, we need to know what transgender means. Transgender, according to the Human Rights Campaign, means, quote, The word transgender, or trans, is an umbrella term for people whose gender identity is different from the sex assigned to us at birth, end quote. Meaning it is a term that can be used for anyone whose gender identity is different from the one given to us at birth. Most people just assume that it is just for the standard trans women and men, but we need to keep in mind that transgender also has two other umbrella terms in it, those being non-binary and binary. Trans binary people are the people who identify as either male or female. Some of them only identify as male or female, not even telling people that they are quote-unquote trans. Non-binary people, such as myself, are those that fall outside what society has put in place for gender, i.e. male and female. I classify myself as non-binary, but other terms under the non-binary umbrella are genderqueer, and by definition, said by the Human Rights Campaign, quote, people who identify as genderqueer may see themselves as being both male and female, neither male nor female, or as falling completely outside these categories, end quote. Gender fluid, and according to the Urban Dictionary, quote, A gender-fluid person is someone who fluctuates between more than one gender, or being between having a gender and not having one. They do not stick to one gender, or lack thereof, for their entire life. It is not related to a person's genitalia, nor their sexual orientation, end quote. Demigender, which is according to Non-Binary Wiki, quote, A demigender is a umbrella the term for non-binary gender identities that have a partial connection to a certain gender, end quote. And the last one I will be mentioning will be agender, and by definition of non-binary wiki, quote, agender is an identity under the non-binary and transgender umbrella terms. Agender individuals find that they have no gender identity, although some define this more as having a gendered identity that is neutral, end quote. Though there are a ton, this is all I'm mentioning right now. Sorry if this makes anyone feel not included. You all are valid and matter now, starting with binary trans people. A lot of misconceptions or propaganda about them is that they are predators or pedophiles. But that is not the case. It is simply just that, propaganda and or misconception. There has been actual scientific studies that have shown that brain scans of trans brains match the brain of the gender that they are identifying with, according to an article posted on March 27, 2019 by Brain and Spine on health.clevelandclinic.org. Quote, when we look at the transgender brain, we see that the brain resembles the gender that the person identifies as, Dr. Altenay says. For example, a person who is born with a penis but ends up identifying as a female often actually has some of the structural characteristics of a female brain, end quote. But structural characteristics aren't the only similarities that matter and show up. Quote, we're also finding some functional similarities between the transgender brain and its identified gender. Dr. Altney says, in studies that use MRIs to take images of the brain, as people perform tasks, the brain activity of the transgender people tends to look like that of the gender they identify with, end quote. There's even some research done that with what I believe helps prove the existence of other genders, such as gender fluid, non-binary, and gender queer. Even without this research, all of those identities do exist and they are extremely valid. Quote, 
Though these differences in brain structure and function are important markers for gender determination, it isn't always as simple as male or female. Some research shows the brains of transgender people are somewhere in between sharing characteristics of both male and female brains, Dr. Altenay says. This is consistent with the growing understanding that gender exists on a spectrum, with people identifying as not only male or female, but also as gender queer, gender fluid, or non-binary, end quote. That being said, there isn't much equipment and more research needs to be done, so let's move on to our next topic. Now, just a quick warning before we move on, this is a very serious topic and contains mentions of violence and murder. If you are uncomfortable with that subject, please move to the time shown on screen. Transgender people face a number of difficulties in America. They have a lack of legal protection and face lots of violence. In America, there's a law called the Gay Trans Panic Defense, or the LGBTQ plus panic defense, because it also includes everyone in the community. According to the LGBT Bar, a group dedicated to banning this act, the LGBTQ plus panic defense is the, quote, the LGBTQ plus panic defense strategy is a legal strategy that asks a jury to find that a victim's sexual orientation or gender identity or expression is to blame for the defendant's violent reaction, including murder, end quote. So to put that simply, if you come out to a person and it puts them in some sort of shock or panic attack, then they have the right to kill you with little to no consequences. Currently, only California, Illinois, Rhode Island, Nevada, Connecticut, Maine, Hawaii, New York, New Jersey, and Washington have banned such defenses. And legislation against the LGBTQ plus panic defense has been introduced but not yet passed in the District of Columbia, Minnesota, Pennsylvania, Texas, Massachusetts, New Mexico, Wisconsin, Maryland, and Iowa. Ways that the defense is used in court is, according to the LGBT bar, quote, defendants claim they believe that the victim, because of their sexual orientation or gender identity or expression, was about to cause the defendant serious bodily harm, end quote. Essentially saying that because someone is a part of the LGBTQ plus community, that they were going to do harm to them. Another way they use the defense is defense of provocation. And according to the LGBT bar, quote, the defense of provocation allows a defendant to argue that the victim's proposition, sometimes termed a non-violent sexual advance, was sufficiently provocative to induce a defendant to kill the victim. Defendants claiming a provocative, advanced, stigmatized behavior, which, on its own, is not illegal or harmful, but is only considered provocative when it comes to an LGBTQ plus individual. End quote. Now, a lot of that might sound like a whole lot of nonsense. So let me explain it for you. If an LGBTQ plus person comes out to someone, that person can now kill the person because they deemed it as a sexual advance. America is not the only place where people face harm because they are part of the LGBTQ plus community. Like in Poland, they have LGBT free zones where it's illegal to be gay in those areas. Or, even if it's not illegal, if you are gay, people will most likely assault you and or murder you. In an article written by CNN, quote, In a little over a year, hundreds of regions across Poland are covering about a third of the country and more than 10 million citizens have transformed themselves overnight into so-called LGBT-free zones. These areas where opposition to LGBT ideology is symbolically written into law at state and local levels, have put Poland in, on a collision course with the European Union and forced sister cities, allies, and watchdogs across the continent to recoil in condemnation. End quote. On top of all of this, the president of Poland, President Andrzej Duda, I apologize if I am mispronouncing the name, is a conservative and sees LGBTQ plus people as an ideology that is harmful. Continuing from the same CNN article, quote, During a re-election campaign partially dominated by the issue earlier, incumbent President Andres Duda 
a staunch ally of U.S. President Donald Trump, warned of an LGBT ideology more dangerous to Poland than communism. The governing party's powerful leader, Jarosław Kaczynski, has claimed LGBT people threaten the Polish state, end quote. It was even referred to as a rainbow plague, quote. Its new education minister said that last year, these people are not equal to normal people. And last year, Krawko's archbishop bemoaned that the country was under siege from a, quote, rainbow plague, end quote. And of course, we cannot talk about the trans community without talking about trans people of color. They face the highest amount of discrimination of all trans people. In fact, 2020 is the worst year for trans women of color in America. People of color are double the minority, both being part of the LGBT community and the POC community. According to the National LGBTQ Task Force, quote, Black transgender people had an extremely high unemployment rate at 26% two times the rate of the overall transgender sample, and four times the rate of the general population. A startling 41% of black respondents said they had experienced homelessness at some point in their lives, more than five times the rate of the general U.S. population. Black transgender people lived in extreme poverty, with 34% reporting a household income of less than $10,000 per year. This is more than twice the rate for transgender people of all races, 15%, four times the general black population rate, 9%, and eight times the general U.S. population rate, 4%. Rodrigo Hangleton, again, I'm so sorry, I'm not very good with names, who is Deputy Executive Director for the National Center for Transgender Equality, made a really good point by saying, Quote, transgender people, and particularly black and Latina transgender women, are marginalized, stigmatized, and criminalized in our country. They face violence every day and they fear turning for the police for help. End quote. They fear that they can't go to the police because the police are also part of the problem. Police are supposed to protect us, but a lot of them don't, as seen by George Floyd and Breonna T Taylor. Just so that I don't leave this on a terrible note, there are plenty of things that are working to stop all of these defenses and are working to get actual laws that help protect LGBTQ plus people. The group that I continuously mentioned earlier, the LGBT Bar, are working to ban the gay trans panic defense. They're constantly trying to help get more queer representation in law, and their mission is to create an LGBT Q plus law firm, and if you are currently in law school or a professional lawyer, retired or active, then they are looking for people to help them. They currently have a membership based on what your status is. It ranges from $40 to $200. Check them out. They will be linked below. Another great group trying to get rights for the LGBTQ plus community is the Human Rights Campaign. I mentioned them quite a few times earlier, and you may have even heard of them. Their mission is to help get more rights for the LGBTQ plus community. On their website, they post lots about recent LGBTQ plus news. They also have a shop, and all of the money raised goes to helping the community. You can also donate, and every now and then, they send you a few items for your kindness. But don't donate for the items. Donate for the sake of donating. Fun fact time! Did you know that one of our very own presidents was involved in some... Gay acts? Yep, the president, Abraham Lincoln, laid with his bodyguards while his wife wasn't home, and through letters, it was found out that he shared the bed with other men, and when he was young, he wrote a poem about a boy marrying another boy. Another thing is that he deeply feared marriage, which some people think is because he wanted to marry men, which wasn't allowed back then. And lastly, one of Lincoln's apparent lovers, Billy Green, said that Lincoln's thighs, quote, were as perfect as a human being could be, end quote. All right, now back to the subject at hand. The last group we are going to discuss is the Trevor Project. If you are a younger person in the community, the Trevor Project is great for you. They have lots of things for the community to use, including a call and text 
mental health hotline, a free online session, completely private, with an adult to just talk about your problems with, an LGBTQ plus blog with other members of the community for 13 to 18 year olds, and even a support center to answer any questions you might have about the community. LGBTQ plus youth need lots of help with understanding things since they don't necessarily have all that help available to them. And the Trevor Project definitely helps with that. And if you aren't a youth and you still want to help them out, you can. They're currently hiring and you can even donate to them. Everything I've talked about will be linked in the description. And let me know what other topics you might want me to discuss in the comments. Now, to get to some more serious things... Even though you might not be hearing about it anymore or see it trending anymore, the Black Lives Matter movement is still going on. Protests are still happening and people are still fighting. Breonna Taylor's killers are still out there. On top of that, people of color are still being lynched and going missing and so much of it isn't even making any of the news. There are so many ways that you can help. You can sign petitions. You can donate to organizations. You can go outside and spread the word. Just don't donate to change.org because they are a private organization and the money goes to them. Even if you can't donate money, you can donate your time. People are, have set up playlists and games that you can play and watch. And the ad money from those goes straight to the community. If you are a person of color, do not let your voice be silenced. And if you are white, amplify those voices. Don't overshadow them. Help them be heard. I will be linking a card in the description. It will be one of the first ones. It's all of the things happening in the world right now. Until then, see you all next time. I encourage you to do your own research to learn about things that you maybe have thought about learning about. You just... Or, if you want to learn about something in a short 20-minute video like this one, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to do as much research as possible and, and shorten it up for you. But until then, stay happy, love each other, and spread the word. I love you all.